Greetings, YouTubers. This is Mr. G-Man coming to you from the foggy night of truth. It's November 20th, 2012. I've been waiting a long time to do this. It is so foggy, you can't even see my neighbor's house across the street. Uh, you can see the lights, but you can't really see the house. It is that foggy. And so we're going to be testing some flashlights tonight up in the sky, pointed straight up in the fog. This is the Malkoff Devices Hound Dog with the XML LED in it. This is about 720 lumens. We're going to be comparing that to several flashlights. But first, again, this is the Hound Dog with the special Don McLeish reflector in it and the XML LED pointed up in the sky making about 720 lumens. Hopefully you can see the uh, center beam and the outer cone of light. This is the original Surefire P91 running off of two uh, lithium ion rechargeable batteries that put it up around 8 volts and can deliver lots of current at the normal power. I tested it in this configuration one time to be about 390 lumens out. But uh, we're looking at the beam spread. You can't see the, um, the outer uh, portion of the beam right now so much because it's yellow and it doesn't reflect the water in the light as much. So the water in the air from the cool white LED is being reflected and you can see the outer cone of light of the LED from the, uh, the Malkoff Hound Dog, but it's harder to see it in the Surefire P91. The center beam lights up the sky. It doesn't really cut through a, a, all that well. So you have the two different beams there. We'll see how this looks in the video. Next we have the original Hound Dog with the XPG in it and it has a tighter beam. The XPG with this reflector had a slightly tighter beam than the one with the XML. The XML puts out more light. I can see it in the um, off-axis light, but not in the center beam. I don't know if it'll show up as well in the video, but this beam is so thick, I, it looks like I could walk up this thing. I mean, this is really a strong beam to my eye. I can see so much moisture in this beam. So this is the original Hound Dog XPG at about 320 lumens. And this is the Hound Dog XML at over 720 lumens. Next, we want to compare an old favorite of mine, the original Wildcat that had four... LEDs in it. These were the same LEDs that were in the original Malkoff M60 drop-in unit. Um, this thing has quad optics. This put out about 550 lumens. So the beam was a little bit wider. So here you have four LEDs and here you have one XML. The XML is a brighter beam, has a better hot spot, and more in the outer perimeter than the Wildcat. So this is the Wildcat and this is the Hound Dog XML. We're going to try and do one other thing. So instead of seeing my neighbor's house all you see is the light being reflected off of the water in the air can't really see. You can see the beam. You can't really see what you want to see from the beam because it's lighting up all the water vapor. But tonight this is all about seeing the beam. And that concludes this portion of the testing. 